Now, Aston Martin has brought out a racing version of its DB9 and it's actually doing all right, isn't it? It is, yeah. One in America, it won Silverstone, Silverstone ran out of petrol at Le Mans. Mm. Still, it now has the chance to redeem itself on our track, which means we must hand it over to our tame racing driver. Some say he naturally faces magnetic north and that all his legs are hydraulic. <laughs> all we know is that he's called the Stig. It's called the DBR9, has an all-carbon fibre body, so it weighs nearly a tonne less than the standard DB9. And yet its V12 chucks out 600 brake horsepower. The result is 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds. And now let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Fantastic, I say, as the uh, Steger spears off the line with plenty of wheel spin. First corner gently on the way in there. Then hard on the power. Cornering absolutely flat. Oh dear, DBR9 has no stereo, so no problem. Look at it through Chicago. No drama at all. And it bouncing on the way into the hammerhead. Slow in again, and here comes the power. Is amazing. That is not uh, 200 miles an hour, by the way, on the speedo, because this car is in euros. Ooh, very quick through the tyres. This is really fast, I have to say. He's turning in now. Downforce working with him. Coming up to Gambon. Can you guess that one right? We're on for a quick time. Any guess? What did you reckon? One minute. 118. He reckons 1 minute 18, this chap. The actual time was 1 minute 8 seconds. Whoa. That's how fast that thing is. But, but, whoa. You can't buy this car, so it has no place on our board. Oh. Sorry, it's gone. But he's right, though. Those are the rules. However, you can buy one of these. This is the DBRS9, and it's a sort of ready-made racer. You buy one of these, you are an Aston Martin racing driver. Absolutely. Now, you've got a, uh, the car we've just seen on the track, OK? That was the full uh, chicken vindaloo. This is more a chicken madras. Uh, yeah, exactly. You only get two chilies with this one, but you still get 550 horsepower, and you still get carbon fibre bodywork. Absolutely, with an aluminium roof, he said, being pedantic. But never mind, how much is it? £175,000. So it's this or a bungalow.